here in Oakdown with some very, very clever people doing some really, really clever things. Research is the fundamental thing that we need to do for a good, solid, long-term healthcare system in this country. I like to think of Octem really as a bit of a hot house and what we're doing really is bringing together people who know what the questions are with people who've got novel ideas about how we can tackle them. So really Octem is the epicentre of research for diabetes in Oxford. I got involved with diabetes research because at the age of seven my daughter was diagnosed as type 1 diabetes. I'm a grandmother now of five grandchildren and I love the fact that I get to spend time with them but I would hate for any of them to have to go through what my daughter did. So anything we can do to help make it easier, make it better is obviously of benefit for the future. The CRU is the Clinical Research Unit. We're carrying out the research sort of at the, the call face as such. So we're meeting the needs like of the researchers, so taking their research and helping them undertake it so that it actually happens. It happens safely within those, you know, good clinical practice guidelines um, and keeping the participants happy and safe and providing the best possible care we can at the same time. It's a nice place to be, it's a friendly place. I've met most of the people a lot of the times before on my previous visits that they, met, they always in advance send you information so you always know what's expected of you. So you always know if they need a biopsy, what that entails, how long you're going to be here for, blood tests that they want to do and anything else they want to do. Nothing is too much trouble and if you've got any questions they're always able to answer them. They are so careful about how they take you through the various steps, the explanations, the you know the the con, you know the consultation that you go through, the checks and the monitoring through whatever that program is 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 really 100% thorough, and I've never had a bad bad moment at all. Quite the contrary. We've got eight clinical beds um, within four clinical rooms. We've also got the the DEXA scanner. So that measures body composition, so the amount of fat that a patient's got and how it's distributed throughout the body. And we've got a fully resourced laboratory, so the samples that we take, we then can take them, process them in the lab so that everything's kept within the, the unit itself. The biopsies are not scary at all. The biopsies are really easy, really friendly. They just take a small sample of skin as, or cells to help towards their research. I don't find it unpleasant at all. I've got a small plaster over the biopsies. They're not bleeding. I'm not in pain at all. Generally people come in really anxious about it and go away saying actually it wasn't as bad as I thought. I think knowing exactly what to expect and then somebody reassuring them the whole way through it makes the experience much better. It's important that the patients have enjoy their research experience. There's more chance that they maybe were going to come back and do further research and also pass that positive message on to others. The function of the core lab is to provide support uh, in the labs to all the scientists and clinicians who work in Octem. Many of our scientists uh, are run collaborations that span both Europe and the world, and so we have samples coming in from many different plants. We work on as many projects as we have the capacity to do so, and we're completely transparent. We don't have allegiance to any particular group, scientists, anything. We just go for wherever the science needs to go. They can mean that in any one month we may do from anywhere from two to 3,000 samples per month. People volunteering for these trials or for these studies is a tremendous help because it allows these large data sets to, to really be that so powerful they can really get meaningful results from them. The more people who volunteer, the more samples we get, the better the conclusions and the quicker we can get treatments to help people. Some of the uh, major areas where we're likely to see big breakthroughs are in uh, how we use technology to manage uh, diabetes and uh, monitoring blood glucose levels. Also in how we deliver insulin uh, to patients with uh, type 1 diabetes. I think these are areas where the technology is going to work very much hand in hand with clinical science to deliver innovations in patient care. We also have a panel uh, of patients who give us advice about how we structure our studies and give us advice about how we ought to be running our studies and whether there are things that we should be doing to make them more acceptable to patients, to answer the questions that they're really interested in that, that are important. So we have a, a, an important interaction with the patient groups to make sure that we're doing the right research that's actually going to be a benefit to, to them. When someone's been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, we've tended to have quite a set pathway of um, putting them on insulin treatment, um, offering them education and what we'd really like to do is be able to offer people more when they're diagnosed with type 1 diabetes to try and preserve the insulin producing or beta cells that, that, that they've got when they're first diagnosed. 
The only way that we're going to be able to change the outcome for people with type 1 diabetes is by doing these kind of studies because then we'll develop new treatments for type 1 diabetes. We've, had, we, we've seen that there really is a demand for people to take part in this kind of study and feel that um, they, they might actually be doing something that could make a difference, I, if not to them, to, to people with newly diagnosed type 1 in the future. They're working the very technical, clinical um, uh, research work to produce products that are going to help people with type 1 diabetes. And at the other end of the scale, they're working not only here but with external partners to uh, just to help people live better, <laughs> live more healthily. And that way we're gonna, we'll deal at the other end of the spectrum with the type 2 diabetic problem, which is, which is huge. We run a whole range of trials in type 2 diabetes and that goes right the way from when somebody's diagnosed with their diabetes. We run a trial to try and understand what sort of diabetes have they got and then of course some of our patients go on and get complications and we run trials on patients who maybe have kidney complications or nerve complications. So what's unique about Optem, what's unique about Oxford is that not only do we run these trials but we're also on trying to understand and unpick the mechanisms behind how these drugs and how these tablets work. It's the mechanisms, that understanding, that is so crucial to understanding drugs for the future that Oxford does uniquely. So we're really grateful for patients who volunteer to take part in our studies and we're trying to match the right drug to the right patient. Personalised medicine is absolutely what we're aiming for here in Oxford. So we're looking at the person, we're trying to understand what sort of diabetes they have and we're trying to understand what's the best treatment for that person. Patients are crucial to our research. Of course patients are crucial because they come in and they take part in research, but they're also crucial because they direct our research. They tell us what's really important to them. And sometimes it's easy to get carried away in what we think is important and patients have a really clear insight into saying actually this is what really matters to me. The Oxford Bioresource is a large cohort of healthy people collected from the local population and the unique aspect of, of this cohort is that every participant has given informed consent to be re-approached to take part in future projects uh, involving research into diabetes and other metabolic disorders. If we want to understand for example what a certain gene is doing, it's most likely best to do that in people with an intact or healthy physiological system. Oxford Bioresource is particularly strong in its characterization of the participants in the areas of diabetes, obesity and endocrinology. So we have the right phenotypes for our own research, but it goes much beyond that. And we also help and support research projects in a wide area of, of uh, uh, clinical subjects. When we talk about personalized medicine, we often think first of, of our genetic background, and uh, that is of course what, uh, one of our strengths. We, we have the genetic background characterized in, in 9,000 people. So we are very well set up to actually uh, do that type of investigations. The Diabetes Trials Unit is an integral part of OCDEM. It will come to my unit to actually perform the major clinical trial. So we're at the end of the process, if you like. We are um, the largest such unit uh, globally at the present time and it's unique because of our focus and also because we cover all trials. Most such units either do early phase or just large scale trials. So here in OCDEM, with so many good collaborative partners, we have the opportunity to cover the whole process. Trials are actually numbered from one through four, the phases, and you work your way through them with more and more patients in each phase so that you don't expose more patients to a new treatment than necessary. And then as you gain confidence, as you get results, you can scale up the trials to really meaningful studies at the end of the day. We're very careful to explain everything before the trial starts and at the end of every trial we sit down with all of the patients or volunteers and we explain the results to them so they are part of the whole process. And the volunteers and patients in those trials have helped transform the landscape because we now know for certain what these drugs do and with that knowledge we can advise people to take them and we can give them uh, a sound basis on which to take medication for a lifetime.
One of the things that we've learned uh, in recent years is that humans really are the best model organism and if we want to understand human diabetes we need to work with humans and to understand basic science and human metabolism we need to work with people. They really are the best way of understanding how our bodies work and looking at how we can treat diabetes. I think I do understand how diabetes affects my daughter now and I think with improvements even from when she was seven when before she left hospital we had to learn how to inject her with a syringe into an orange whereas now it's a, a, spare, a pen where you dial up the insulin, inject it, it's really painless, the blood tests are much easier now. She's now 33 so in that time all that the people do when they help is, is making improvements in diabetes research. So I'm really excited about our, our research here in Oxford in diabetes. We know that research is the future of medical care. Unless people get involved in research, there is no better medical care than what we have at the moment. So I'd really encourage people to join up, sign up and take part in research. The funding that we get from the NHR supports a variety of activities that we do. It supports some of the researchers to help deliver the, the, the research that we're providing, both clinical and at the basic science level. It also supports a core laboratory whereby the samples that we take from those patients, we can analyse within our core laboratory to understand either how mechanisms of, of, of the disease are, are occurring or how specific treatments are, are, are operating. And so it's that complement together of basic scientists, clinical researchers and NHS clinicians together which can provide the best care and the best research for the patients. Having that direct access to the patients is very important because that way we can ask the right questions that are most relevant to the patients that we see. Access to all the different areas like the core lab, the basic science, the rich pool of patients that we have coming through our clinic and the expertise of the research nurses all adds to the sort of unique jigsaw that makes OCDEM what it is, which is a really unique research facility. You've benefited from the last 40 or 50 years of clinical research in the way that you and your family have been treated. And if you can help the process, just go and do it. Uh, because that way you're going to be helping your, chil your children's children and generations to come.